So once I have my canvas open in Photoshop, you're going to notice that mine has a color fill. So I'll get rid of that and just show you. I, I like to put a color fill up right away, and that is so that I can actually see the outline. So to do that, I am just going to select a new layer, or no, not group, select a new layer, and then go to this icon on the bottom right that looks like a circle with a solid fill and then open fill and then just go to solid color and then you can choose the color so I'm gonna choose whatever because I can change it later and then just say okay so now I want to drag my photo into the canvas and you want to make sure that you're grabbing a photo that doesn't have a background and if you have not used remove.bg go to that website and it's like this photo took probably like three seconds to render it's the best for getting rid of backgrounds but still like keeping your hair in there and you don't even have to think and it's wonderful so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna create that outline so what I want to do first is I want to select the pixels so as you can see over on the right side here I have the layers panel I'm gonna right click on the frame area and then say select pixels and then from here, I want to go to select on the top menu and then say modify and then expand and then expand by. So I'll put in 15 and see how that works. Okay, so that's kind of perfect. So what I do here is you can see I expanded it and now it's a great outline around me. So now I'm going to create a new layer and then drag it underneath the layer that I am in. And then I'm, I am on white, which is the color I want. I'm just going to select my paintbrush tool by pressing G on my keyboard and then clicking and then it fills. And then from here, I can deselect it by pressing, I'm using a Mac, so it's Command D. If you're on a PC, it would be Control D. But there you have it. So if I go to my fill layer, then I can make this darker. You can see this one had a little bit where it's not a hard edge, and I can clean that up with an eraser, and that's just because my hair was nice and floof, floofy. But yeah, that's just the easiest way to create an outline around you in Photoshop. You can also do this with text, and this is where it will probably come in even more handy. So what I've done just to make this easier for you guys is I grouped the original piece that I did, and now I've just created a new layer. So if it helps, you can get rid of it altogether. You can turn it off and then work on your text layer. But basically, I'm just working on that text layer now, and I'm going to select T on my keyboard to bring up my text box. I'm going to select this area about right here. And then I am going to add my text. So the first thing I want to do is make sure it's the right size that I want and the right spacing here. So I'll probably decrease that a little bit. Maybe not that much. Okay. So now I'm actually going to use this text for this video cover. So I'm just going to change this to add outline to text and I'll say to Photoshop and some other some other font but I want mainly for this one to be what stands out I'll probably make that larger you guys don't have to watch this whole process <laughs> I'll do the rest later so I'll just show you exactly how I'm gonna make this work so basically get it the size that you want and make sure that the text is correct because once you are ready to add your outline, you're gonna have to rasterize the text, which basically means you're turning the text into an image, so it's no longer editable as what words or what letters show up where. So make sure it's what you want, and then, I'll make it even a little bit bigger, and then you're gonna rasterize it. So you can do that by right-clicking and then say, I don't know, there's like, oh, here we go, rasterize type and then that changes it to an image right here. And from here, I'm gonna do the exact same process. So I'm going to right click on the little icon here on the right in the layers panel. I'm going to say select pixels. I'm gonna go up to my top menu bar and say select, and then go down to modify and then expand. And I'm gonna expand it by however many, let's try 10 and see how that works so okay so that's a pretty bold outline but I'm happy with it so again remember at this point you want to create a new layer drag that layer underneath 
and then press G on your keyboard for fill. Make sure it's on the color that you want and then fill it. And then you can deselect it by pressing Command D. All right, guys, I hope that was super helpful. Make sure to click the notifications so that you get updates on my next videos for helpful tips because you know I love giving them to you. For more information, more lessons, whatever it is, follow me on YouTube. Also check out my website at thepigeonletters.com. See you next time.